Hello! In this little video tutorial and introduction I want to show you how to work with my Dragon Keeper hair. Just a few simple tricks to get you started. Okay, first of course we need Victoria for. Now I'm going to conform the main Dragon Keeper hair to the figure. So the first thing you will notice that a few of the back parts of the hair are invisible. And to fix this we will go to our render settings, to the preview tab and remove the back facing polys option. So you can now see every part of your hair and have an idea what you are doing. Okay, this very big floor length hairstyle has a couple of extra ghost bones built inside it to make it a bit more flexible. You will find in the body of the hair a tab called controls which will move several parts of the hair. First you will notice the shoulders have their own dials to help you move the these parts away from uh, the shoulder and color region and for dynamic movement I have added all these back bones and their movement dials. So I recommend to play around a little, little bit with all these dials so you get an idea which dial moves what part. Essentially this top back dials these three, three ones back twist side side and bend move the complete back part of the hair and back one through four move sections. Back four is the tip the lower tip of the hair and back one is the section from about shoulder blade height to the bottom. So you see I can get some nice curving going on here. Uh, yes, I think you get the idea what uh, this hair can do with a little bit of fiddling and work. You can also combine the style settings here with the styles like um, length. You can make it longer. You can spread this back tail piece here. You can spread the whole back. You can even make it wavy and so on. Okay, so the wavy effect is even more noticeable as seen from the side. Alright, if you want to use these extra parts, they simply have to be conformed to Victoria 4 to work with the hair. I'm going to use the two braid parts in here. You might notice that the back braid figure here is simply hanging down, so um, we would have to adjust the complete ghost bones in there, which are the same as in the hair to match the look of the hair, but there's one simple way to um, cheat or automate this process more or less. You go back to the hair, to the body and hit Control c then go back to the braids 2 figure which is the one in the back, select the body and hit Control v So you see it, it even copied the wavy shape here and the, the spread morph. Here all these settings have been copied. So this works for most of the hair pieces. It even works on the jewelry. I'm going to pick this back hair jewels. So we have it here. And then I go to the hair, Control C, and select the hair jewels, Control V. And you see it's uh, shifted slightly to point to one side, so it mimics the movement of the main hair and the braids in the bottom. Now the main hair also has a morph to adapt its shape for this jewelry in the back. You will find it under the Styles tab. It's named Fit Jewels. You see it's moving out of the way. Now we have a clear view of all these little chains and pearls and amulets. 
Um, there's another style morph that's called Fit Over Stola. This is to work together with the Dragon Keeper Stola from the outfit set. So you can, you can use these two together. Okay, uh, there's not so much more to say. Of course, the copy and paste trick also works on this front braid figure. Uh, it's mainly good for copying settings from the shoulder bones into these parts here in the front. So for some poses it might come handy. But uh, these braids have some nice style morphs. They have style morphs for length, for width. They can wave as well, with wavy shapes. Which is most noticeable if you see them from the side. You can spread the left and right braids separately. And of course they also have ghost bones included, which can move separate parts of the braids, like the complete left side or just the lower left side, or the complete right side or the lower right side. So, this is it. I hope I have given you an impression how to use this hair set. And um, I hope you have fun playing around with it and rendering your nice images. So see you next time. Bye!